Disaster prep mandated to unprecedented levels for New Orleans nursing homes. Judge rules providers can make end of life decisions for mentally incompetent residents. Senate releases bipartisan proposal to lower seniors drug prices. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, July 31st, 2019. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. 14 years after Hurricane Katrina led to the deaths of at least 60 nursing home residents in and around New Orleans, local officials remain wary that nursing home operators are following the best practices regarding disasters. A new ordinance unanimously passed Thursday by the New Orleans City Council will require annual inspections of the city's 16 nursing homes. It will also require nursing homes to have generators that can power their facilities for at least 96 hours. If the city has to help evacuate or provide shelter to residents, the nursing home will be held financially accountable. In the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina, 35 residents at St. Rita Nursing Home and St. Bernard Parish drowned and the owners were charged, although ultimately acquitted. That memory, along with 2012's Hurricane Isaac knocking out power for several days and 2017's Hurricane Irma leading to the deaths of several nursing home residents in Florida, has led to lawmakers in Gulf states, Gulf Coast states to push for more regulations. The New Orleans inspectors will be run by the city's safety and permits department in addition to inspections required by the federal centers for Medicare and Medicaid services. Nursing homes have until September 1st to comply with the new requirements, although councilmen noted many are already up to speed. Physicians can administer psychiatric medications and make end-of-life decisions for residents in California who are mentally incompetent, provided family and independent representatives have input, a state's appeals court has ruled. While a 2016 court decision said the law violated patients' rights, the 1992 law allowing the physician authority over residents at the end of life has remained in effect over the past three years. The law can continue to stand as long as it respects the rights of nursing home residents, the First District Court of Appeals said last Monday. But there are caveats, which include an independent patient representative on the team reviewing medical decisions. A patient representative must be appointed for every nursing home resident determined to be decisionally inca incapacitated. A notice that a resident is found to lack decision-making capacity must be given orally and in writing, and the written notice must be given not only to the affected nursing home resident, but to at least one other competent person whose interests are aligned with those of the resident. We'll be back right after this break. CNA TV. CNA TV. Memberships have changed over the years. This has been your long-term care news update. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of NACA. CNA TV. Don't miss out on any of the great programming on CNA TV. Subscribe today. The Senate Finance Committee released an ambitious bipartisan drug pricing proposal last Tuesday that would cap seniors' out-of-pocket costs and limit price increases to Medicare but the legislation faces stiff opposition from the pharmaceutical industry. Committee Chairman Charles E. Grassley, the Republican from Iowa, and the committee's top Democrat, Senator Ron Wyden from Oregon, spent the past six months hashing out the proposal, which would make changes to Medicare and Medicaid, and is projected to save the government about $100 billion over 10 years, according to the Nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office, or CBO. The measure would also save seniors $27 billion in out-of-pocket costs over that period and $5 billion from slightly lower premiums, according to the CBO. The White House has endorsed the proposal and said it would build support among senators. President Trump has made lowering drug prices a top priority heading into his 2020 re-election campaign and is eager to strike a deal with Congress that he can tout on the campaign trail. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.